You may have noticed an art installation outside our church this week. The images on your screen each represent an important moment from Jesus' final steps as he wend his way to Calvary. Together, they're called the Stations of the Cross. And throughout history, Christians have used pieces of artwork like these, along with the stories in Scripture, to help them intentionally reflect on Christ's journey to the cross. We hope that your joining with us in these moments of reflection each day will help prepare our collective hearts for the grief of Good Friday, the expectant longing of Holy Saturday, and the triumphant celebration of Easter Sunday. Station 6, Jesus Falls. This station, although not found in scripture, is traditionally in three stations. It symbolizes his humanity and his ever-decreasing strain as he moves towards his public day. At the time of Jesus' death, crucifixion was the punishment reserved for the lowest of society's low, the prevailing method employed to publicly dishonour a person. Consider Christ's humility then, God made flesh, succumbed to the ultimate display of human denigration and assumed the physical vulnerabilities of the human body. As you reflect upon the following verse, imagine Jesus experiencing weakness and distress in a public setting with nowhere to hide. Imagine the exhaustion of the last 24 hours. Consider God made flesh, succumb to the ultimate display of human denigration and assumed the physical vulnerabilities of the human body. The passage you're about to hear is going to be read three times. This first time, simply allow the text to wash over you. If there's a word or a phrase that sticks out to you, make note of it. There's no need to force things here. Simply wait patiently for God's still, small voice to speak to you through his word. John chapter 12, verse 24. Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. On this second reading of the passage, feel free to focus in on any specific part that has stood out to you. Get curious, what might God be trying to say to you? Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. On this third and final reading of the text, consider the circumstances of your life. Why might God be bringing you this specific message at this particular time? Is there an action that you feel called into taking? Please make sure to also continue in prayer, perhaps do some journaling, and share with others in your life who can help you to understand the invitation that God may be extending to you. Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Father God, let us consider not just God made flesh, not just the vulnerabilities of the human body, but Lord, let us consider that if one single seed dies and is only a single seed, your kingdom is not furthered. Lord, let us plant many seeds throughout our life in the many ways that Jesus has shown us how to live a life that honours you. Lord, that when we die, we will not be that only seed dying, that we will have left others behind us. Lord, thank you for the sacrifice of your son. Thank you that you were made flesh and that you allowed your son to die so that many others may come to know you. Amen.